So, hey guys, this is Franklin. This is the 10th video of Rhino complete course from beginner to advanced level. And so far, we have seen all these functions like uh, point, line, curves, curve tools, polygons, solids, etc. So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about this surface tool. Let me maximize this perspective view and let's drag this to the viewport so that we can access it from here so the surface tool is almost similar to the curve tools like a uh, fillet chamfer and all other stuff in the curve tools we did it for the curves but in the surface tools we will do it for the surfaces that's the difference between these two tools okay let's see one by one so here first we have a fillet surface okay let's create a box i'm gonna draw some rectangle and make a planar surface and i'm gonna extrude this in the y direction extrude surface so now we have the box just click on this fillet surface or else you can type fillet surface so we need to give the radius first let's click on this radius i'm gonna give uh, 5 enter and now select the first surface then the second surface you can also adjust the radius like this and in this pop-up box you need to check this trim and extend to be checked and press ok it will fill at the surface like this and you can trim the un unwanted surface like this now we have the proper filleted surface and the next we have chamfer surface it's the same uh, let's click on this first we need to select the surface you need to give the distance here let's say i'm gonna give 5 comma 5 and first we need to select the first surface and then the second surface it will create a chamfered surface like this and same as that you can trim the unwanted surfaces and here we have a blend surface okay let's delete this and i'm gonna create a new box let's draw a rectangle and another rectangle here let's create a planar surface for both and extrude it in the y direction so now we have two boxes so in the blend surface just click on this blend surface when you select the first edge, this will be the first edge and this will be the second edge. You can see it will blend the two surfaces and also you can and also you can adjust the surface blend from here also. Like you can play with it however you want. You can also play with the control points here. Uh, by the way, the first slider is for the number one and the second slider is for the number 2 you can see here if I change the first one it will move the first control points and if I change the second one it will move the second control points you can play around this ok and this is control points you can turn on the control points of a surface by using this command for the shortcut of the control points is f10 you can turn on the control points by using f10 and turn off by using f11 and then we have offset surface this is one of the most important function in the surface tools let's let me show you let's click on this offset surface and you need to give the distance here I'm gonna give 3 no uh, 1 is fine and press enter 
it will create an offset to the surface okay, uh, if you don't want to create a solid offset like this let's uh, let me go back and again i'm going to do it just press on this select the surface press enter and you can change the distance here one is fine and here you need to turn on the solid to no and then press enter it will offset the surface without the solid surface and this will be nice now also if you wanted to offset both sides just click on this and here we have both sides if you turn on this yes it will offset the surface to the both sides it acts it both offset surface and okay let's move on to the next one and delete this here we have connect surface connect surface is uh, nothing but let me create a surface and make a copy let's using connect a uh, surface you can connect the two surfaces yes select the first surface and the second surface it will connect like this this is not a most useful command in some case you will need it that's why i'm explaining about this and here we have a union coplanar surface this command will help to join two surfaces let me create uh, two surfaces here and make a copy if you wanted to join these two surfaces into a single surface then you can use this command just click on this you need to select all the surfaces and then press enter it will convert into a single surface and another uh, useful command tween between two surfaces it is similar to the tween curves here let me create a surface let's create a rectangle and create a surface then i'm gonna copy this and make a little bit rotation to look interesting okay now select this tween surfaces you need to select the start surface and the end surface and also you can give the number of surfaces you want in between these two surfaces i'm gonna give seven and press enter and again enter so it will create seven surfaces in between these two surfaces okay that's it for today and here we have rebuild surface i will talk about this in another video because this is also one of the most important function in rhino so thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next video